That's a pretty cool rig you have that fits on your shoulders and holds your microphone and your harmonica and the whole thing. That's awesome. Well, I got the idea. I, I got the idea because I went in, uh, in these music stores and had this, we won't name the name of the company, but anyway, put out, and it's okay. And I seen Jimmy Reed wearing one and seen Bob Dylan, different people uh, wearing these things, but I never felt like you know, it's like I need something. Well, anyway, I was up in Chicago, and I used to work shows with a guy named Fleming Brown. And Fleming Brown uh, was from Marshall, Missouri, uh, Clawhammer. And uh, he, he smoked camel straights, you know. They <laughs> said, Johnny, so now you open this show here, and you do the blues, and I'll do the old-time banjo. But anyway... So I would go over his house, and I'd be doing Earl of Old Town and different uh, folk clubs. Anyway, stopped by and see him, and he had all these albums. One of them was this guy named Frank Hutchison. He's from uh, Piedmont area, you know, uh, um, right, right. Uh, Virginia somewhere. Yeah. yeah, Virginia somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, he had this rig, and I said, what? I'm looking at that. But there's a, a blues and country guy going back in the 20s and 30s had these kind of things. And, if you, and you can get them from Montgomery Ward catalogs and some, <laughs> and it, or Sears or whatever. And you see them in there. Well, it's kind of like the Clovis extinction. For some reason, <laughs> after uh, the 30s, they switched over to this other thing. And I said, what? So I, and I went, I was work, uh, working at the Old Town School of Folk Music. I was teaching blues, guitar, and harmonica. And someone brought a Lion and Healy catalog in. I'm looking, not only did it have something look like that, but it had some other things. And uh, so I, I went to the um, uh, person and ordered the stuff. I said, can you order me one of these? And they look like, uh, like deer caught in the headlights. And they says, they don't make that anymore. I mean, you know, it's like, so it's kind of like that, that song that uh, Tampa read, uh, uh, you can't get the stuff no more, no matter how hard you try. You can't buy, just can't get the stuff no more. Anyway, so uh, anyway, I said, okay. I looked at it, and then down through the years, I found uh, junk parts, uh, go up and down the you alley. Made it yourself. Build it myself. Yeah. And this here is a combination of, I used to work, as a janitor, I was working custodian work at uh, Greene County in Springfield, Missouri. So I found a little thing. Hey, you guys need? Oh, no. Okay. So I use it. And then go to a hardware store. I built it myself, so I'm very proud. Yeah. That's <laughs> So I have a feeling that you all can imagine that when Johnny Long and I met, when I was probably 20 or 21 and you were probably 25 yeah, or something like yeah. that, 26, I thought you were already old. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Well, I just figured because you're just, you're, you're such a good storyteller. You're, you got the, you got this great gravelly voice and you had the, you had the playing and the singing. And I just need to point out to people because on the radio it's, you hear songs like what, what John is playing, and you realize, well, that sounds familiar. That sounds like, oh, yeah, it's blues, and somebody's playing guitar, and somebody's playing a harmonica, and somebody's singing. Well, it's all him. He's doing the whole thing himself, and he's playing guitar and harmonica at the same time. It's, it's, it's hard to do. It takes a lot of practice, and, uh, and you do it really well. Well, thank you. And another thing, <laughs> this, this, this gentleman here, He's multi-talented, guitar, banjo, uh, uh, mandolin, singing, him and his wife. Anyway, I'm, I'm proud to be here. It makes me feel humble, I mean, you know, to be here on E-Town because I've been, been here uh, quite a few times before, and I'm glad they had me back. And this group here, this Sunrays, yeah. Capital Sunrays, yeah, great. Well, um, John, we got a lot more music to get to. I just want to mention, I think you've got some Native American ancestors. And, um, and I know that you have a particular fondness and a feeling for nature and for the land and for fairness. Yes. These are things that you care about. Well, I think the, the, um, um, 
the thing that when Jesus went around, he, he told them to take care, to take care of this. He did. And, he, and, it's, and, and in the native, I talked to people, he said, uh, then when uh, it's in their uh, Cherokee history and other hi- histories of native people that Jesus visited. So it's in, in, the, in the book of John at the end, it says, there's a lot of things that were done that, you, that it wouldn't be uh, room enough for the books to contain. So uh, anyway, that's that's my belief in in uh, blues and and you put you taught have to have sing out the troubles before you can bring the the positive stuff. So I keep on doing it. I mean, you know, I just uh, I, and I have a brother too, uh, blues man and uh, Claude, right? Claude, Claude Blues Boss Long. Yeah, yeah. he's. He's he's uh, still doing it. He, Your he's older brother, my older brother. He's so blind, right? He's blind. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so I'm proud to keep on doing. It. I'm 69 years young, and ain't gonna give up. And and uh, and homesick, live to be close to 100. We don't know. I mean, there's a whole bunch of these guys. Like you, 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 UB Blake was about 100. Yeah, wasn't he? that's right. Pine Top Perkins was pretty Pine close. Pine Top Perkins yeah. and I and I had the pleasure of. Uh, doing that thing right down the road from my, where my dad, my dad it was an old time baseball player, played for the Southern Leagues, and he was born same town as Charlie Musselwhite, Kosciuszko, Mississippi, raised up in Batesville. But when we're kids, it was a different thing, man, because my mother, she was Sephardic looking, Mediterranean looking, and and uh, didn't always get treated. Uh, you know, with the uh, open arms, but now you go down to Batesville, Mississippi, and it's multicultural, and and, ev- and, and and people say, "Hey, Johnny, why don't you go?" And Clark said, "Well, I got, uh, I played there a friend of mine, uh, harmonica club uh, in Tulsa, uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, Dave uh, Burnson. So anyway, I." I done the thing in Clarksdale, and there's young kids, man, passing it on. They're learning guitar, harmonica, and other instruments, and just passing it on. So, yeah. I, so uh, P- Pine Top done a real good job. Yeah. Well, I also just I like the I like the combination of you maintaining the tradition, and as you say, uh, singing to the troubles. Yeah. Because that's that's what this, the the nature of the blues is about. And and yet you carry this uh, very positive spirit. I know you're going to do a song later on that's uh, about us all being connected and all being part of one one sort of global humanity. I know that uh, as a as a St. Louis person, you're not a particular fan of uh, companies like Monsanto. No, no, because because I know I know old time uh, country preachers, and they might have a cowboy church, and I've been and they they don't. Uh, they aren't for Monsanto either. I'm just saying, it's like it's like uh, if Jesus was here, he wouldn't be for it. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and in fact, you, I, I hear some farm report, and this guy was he says, "When did uh, Monsanto go in the business? Uh, when when the EPA go in business with Monsanto?" So anyway, but it, it'll, we just got to keep on, you know. Doing the thing and and don't and and uh, you know things loving can be other. changed. Yeah, loving each other, loving loving the, each other. loving the earth too. And just like your guest here, so yeah, that was as great. That was an inspiring story. Yeah. Well, listen, we um, the blues it touches so many styles of music and it's connected to so many styles of music and uh, it isn't a, it isn't necessarily this isolated thing. But you've really captured the the, the spirit and the essence of it, and we're glad you're back. And uh, we're going to get back to music right now. Yes, sir. Welcome back, if you would, Mr. Johnny Long. Thank you. Hi, this is Nick Forster from E-Town. If you want to stay up to date with all the performances, interviews, and behind-the-scenes footage, click the subscribe button. Thanks.